What's going on guys? My name is Eclipse and today I will be showing you the brand new Night Witch Draft Challenge. Yes, that is right. I have my developer build back. So shout out to Supercell for coming in clutch. But let me just tell you guys the basic layout for today's video. Essentially, we'll be doing three battles in the Night Witch Draft Challenge. And then once I complete three battles or so, I'll then be showing you all the loot and rewards that you get for completing this challenge. Now, if you just came to this video to see me complete the challenge you can skip to this timestamp right here and one final thing before we do begin if you're new to my channel please feel free to subscribe because at 1 million subscribers we will be doing that hashtag eclipse face reveal so with that taken care of let's get started join for free who are we gonna find let's get searching hopefully someone accepts quickly and we are up against wicked okay so this is my friend wicked pretty much in the past i would always use his gameplay but since i have the developer build now i actually get to battle him head on so if you want to check out my friend wicked i'll be sure to throw a link to his channel in my description below but right here let's take the night witch and then to finish everything off i'm thinking archers should be good arrows might have been a good choice but archers always seem to come in clutch as far as the first play of the game goes i'm gonna split some archers up in the very back there is a minor so it's immediately get some minions over there unfortunately his spear goblins are gonna be getting some hits off on us oh and he had some good arrows i'm gonna give him a sad face on that one because that was actually very well played now i do have this clone spell which i don't think i will be using at all so who knows that may come in clutch but for now i don't think the clone spell oh my god you gotta be kidding me what am i even gonna do against this man so i put a night witch down because she has some bats but I was not able to stop that balloon, no! Man, this is not going well for us. My deck so far is not the greatest. Now, if you're looking at the Night Witch, she pretty much spawns witches, and then she stabs things with her spear. Overall, she's an awesome card, but unfortunately, I can't really showcase her quite yet, just because we don't have the best hand, and we haven't really got any pushes off, but still, there's plenty of time left in this video for me to get some amazing plays off, so let's get the bow down. Let's begin another push. This time, I'm gonna put the Night Witch kind of farther down in the back hopefully the bats from that can help take out that balloon it looks like the balloon oh my god the balloon destroyed the tower but right now we have a decent push going i'm gonna be putting archers in and i may actually clone everything so since she just used that i'm actually gonna clone all of the troops oh my god we have double night witches on the tower look at all the bats go oh my god that was absolutely sick the bats are such a good card and in combination with that clone spell that was just so sick oh my god i'm actually speechless right now i could not have asked for a better play now let's prepare for whatever this guy has i know he has some arrows which does kind of suck um as far as all this goes i'm gonna put some archers in the very back hopefully we can stop that balloon please don't oh the night witch is gonna die soon but at least our archers are doing okay so at this point i'm gonna put that down right there now i'm thinking about cloning everything actually no i'm not I was thinking about cloning everything, but then I realized my troops were all about to die anyways. Now right here, I think there is going to be a... Yeah, there's the balloon we were expecting now. There are going to be some arrows which are coming in very soon, so let's kind of prepare for those arrows. So we zapped all of that out. So since he just wasted... Or not really wasted his zap, um, I'm thinking about using the clone spell on all of my cards. Crap, okay. Clone spell isn't going to be much of a use. Let's kind of clone everything over right there. Oh, come on, clone spell. We have double bowlers on that tower. Let's get another bowler down with the ice golem. At this point, I'm going to put the night witch down on that hidden Tesla with some minions. The Tesla is destroyed. We have the night witch pushing up on the tower. He did use some arrows. There goes the night witch stabbing it away, and we ended up winning the first battle. That was actually a really... Oh, God. I meant to say good game. Oops. Okay. That was actually a really, really good battle. So, I'm going to queue up and let's do another. Who are we going to find for the second battle? And we're against Wicked again. So, we have the Witch or the Ice Wizard. I'm going to take the Witch because if I get the Night Witch, then I can pretty much have a Double Witch deck. So, let's take the Goblin, goblin Barrel over the Hog Rider. Oh, my God. I stuttered. Um, I am going to take Fire Spirits just so we can't easily counter my Goblin Barrel. 
and I'm also gonna take arrows just so he can't easily counter my goblin barrel now in this battle wicked should have the night witch so you can see how the night witch works like when the attacker has it I guess so to start the battle off though we have some oh crap okay our spear gods just got absolutely murked I'm thinking about putting that executioner down though hopefully this can stop those oh my god as I was saying hopefully the executioner can stop those fire spirits but unfortunately there's a lava hound pushing and a lava hound scare me a lot like they're not a fun card to deal with so as far as oh there's the night witch wow dude she looks really cool from the front end um i am kind of getting some lag which oh how am i going to counter all this as far as this night witch goes i really don't know how i want to counter this let's get some fire spirits there with some arrows those fire spirits were kind of a waste because i just used arrows but oh well that's fine there goes the night witch when she dies she spawns a whole bunch of regular witches and overall She's a cool card, but I feel like she may be kind of a pain. I'm going to send the Goblin Barrel in right now. Hopefully, the Witch can get a few hits off. Come on, crap. Okay, the Witch is down, but the Goblin Barrel did get like a hit or two, and so it's kind of okay i guess i'm gonna run the executioner though that should take care of those guards and now we have another lava hound that i have to deal with and i don't even know how i want to counter this because i really wish like i had an inferno tower or something but i don't have the best air troops to counter this and now there's that night witch i have to deal with and i assume there's going to be another hog rider spear gobs in the back now i'm going to put regular goblins on that night witch and let's put uh let's get arrows ready right here unfortunately he oh crap get arrows ready perfect arrows and oh no i was too late on or i was too early on the arrows that tower just got absolutely wiped out i'm struggling really bad right here this battle is not looking too good for us but of course there's still a minute left there's plenty of time to come back so we have the witch taking care of that hog rider not really the best counter so let's get an executioner with the goblin barrel down hopefully we can get some plays off here there's another night witch down with a whole bunch of guards luckily we have two splash troops up there which are actually doing a decent job at countering all of that so the night witch is going down unfortunately there's another furnace man these furnaces are killing me this battle right here did not go that well whatsoever there's about 30 seconds left and i'm pretty sure we lost this battle but let's just continue onward i am going to use those fire spirits to take care of those ice wizards after that let's put some goblin oh crap um you know let's just use arrows on all that get out of here dude there's 10 seconds left in this battle and this is done we do not stand a chance so now that we have two battles taken care of let's hop into a third one and hopefully i can secure a win so that way i'm not a total loser who are we gonna find for battle number three i'm assuming it's gonna be wicked again yeah wicked okay so i've been really getting into the lightning spell as of recently and i hate when people use that card against me so i'm gladly gonna take both of those thank god we got the night witch to finish the video off and okay um this guy has arrows so no matter which of these two cards i take he can pretty much take me out right away so i really don't want to do this but i don't think i have too many counters for the minion horde so i feel like the princess is going to be the better card in this case Ooh, a lumberjack okay and we actually have a defense this is going to be a strange battle so to start it off let's put the night witch down in the very very back she's pushing up as far as what we want to push with goes maybe a lumberjack maybe santa claus over here i'm not too sure if that's good um okay let's get the night oh crap so we have the lumberjack down with the princess um hopefully the bats can help take care of all of that the night witch just got absolutely murked that was kind of a fail on our end part of me wants to drop the lightning spell but only taking out the ice wizard isn't really worth it for me so right now i am gonna put a log down right there hopefully that does a decent job i'm gonna use a cannon down oh man i just used a cannon to counter a graveyard is that a good play or a good play let's send that miner in though oh crap 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 let's get a lumberjack down right there now that we have the lumberjack pushing let's get a night witch down and we just kind of shut that guy's x out pretty easily the expo should be going out any second the night witch is just stabbing stuff which is amazing now the night witch is taking care of those archers please spawn the bats and look at her go she stabs and gets the bats the bats are raged and oh my god wow that was that was pretty good like i'm getting pretty good plays with the night witch i had the clone spell in the first battle and then i just used the lumberjack with her and overall like 
I'm really liking the way the card plays. Now, I'm hoping he doesn't arrow her out and then send a minion horde in, because if he did that, that would not be good for me. So, we have the cannon down. Luckily, he did miss that cannon with his arrows. So, at this point, I'm gonna send... Oh, no, we're not. Okay, let's send the miner in straight on that tower. After that, let's get a lightning spell down right there. Oh, please, please, please do work. Yes, yeah, so we countered the expo again. The lightning spell did great work for us. Thankfully, I chose that card. And now that two times elixir has hit us i think i'm gonna send the night witch down in the very very back so we have the night witch down she's pushing up i am gonna put a lumberjack over there with a princess kind of in the middle um i may use a miner just to tank yeah there we go um the miner is tanking but unfortunately this guy has an entire minion horde locked on to my tower that tower on the left is about to go down let's get ourselves um okay crap i'm actually gonna send a law oh that was the worst log ever. Okay, I'm going to give him a sad face on that one. Right now, though, we do have to prepare for whatever this guy has coming. Let's get ourselves an expo down. Let's get a princess over there. Kind of a strange setup we have going on. Um, There is an expo, so let's get ourselves the lightning spell down right there. Boom. Taking all of that out. Unfortunately, though, our princess is going down. The battle is ending any second. We have the miner in on the tower. We sent the log in. Please, please, please work out. Oh, my God. The miner just needs, like, one more hit. Oh, my God. This is going to be very close. Let's safeguard this tower. I have the Tesla and the cannon both on the tower, putting the princess down. He's arrowing me out. There's 60 health left on the tower. I'm sending the miner in. No! That was such a good game. Oh, my God. Most of the battles in this video were pretty good. Wow, that was actually sick. And now it's time for the moment many of you have been waiting for. What happens when you win the Night Witch Draft Challenge? So at one win, you get nothing special, but moving on to two wins, you actually get yourself a golden chest. Pretty crazy stuff. So let me just scroll through this. Nothing too special yet. Going on to three wins, you get nothing again. Then once you get to four wins, you're going to be getting yourself some gold, and everyone loves gold. So four wins, I think, is going to be achievable for most of you. So at least you guys can all be looking out for that. Then once you you make your way to six wins you actually get yourself a magical chest and i think the magical chest is set to whatever arena you're in so right there i just went through the chest very very quickly seven wins nothing eight wins again you get nothing and then at nine wins you're gonna get yourself another gold reward but this time we're getting twenty five thousand gold which is a great amount 10 wins you get nothing moving on to 11 wins wait is that a clash royale notification when i'm on clash royale what okay now on to 12 wins right here you can see it says collect the night witch so once you get 12 wins you can collect the night witch and then you actually get a 12 win grand challenge chest so i'm just gonna kind of go through this now this challenge is pretty much identical to the bandit challenge overall it's 10 out of 10 and i love it will i be able to get this far probably not but i'm gonna give it my best and right there you can see i actually got a princess out of this chest so guys now that you have seen this entire challenge please let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below but guys this has been eclipse hopefully you enjoyed this amazing video and peace out